Hi and how are you all today? The question says the coefficient of the r minus 1th rth and r plus 1th terms in the expansion of x plus 1 raised to the power n are in ratio 1 is to 3 is to find. Find both n and r. Let us discuss. Now here the binomial expression given to us is x plus 1 raised to the power n. First of all, we need to find the coefficient of r minus 1th term. That will be nc r minus 2. Right? Because here rb is 1 only, so it will have no effect on the other. Further, the coefficient of rth term will be nc r minus 1. And similarly, the coefficient of r plus 1th term that we are used to write is nc r. Now, according to the question that is given to us, it's given to us that ncr minus 2 is to ncr minus 1 is to ncr is in ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5, which can be written as c n r minus 2 divided by 1 is equal to c n comma r minus 1 divided by 3 is equal to c n comma r divided by 5. Now if we take c n r minus 2 divided by 1 is equal to c n minus n comma r minus 1 divided by 3 we can find out the value of at least one thing that will be on cross multiplying that will be 3c n minus n comma r minus 2 is equal to 1 multiplied by c n comma r minus 1. Now here it can be written as 3. Now c n minus r can be written as n factorial divided by r minus 2 factorial and n plus 2 minus r factorial and this will be written as n factorial divided by r minus 1 factorial n plus 1 minus r factorial. Further, we have 3 Further, n factorial will get cancelled out from the numerator on both the sides and we have 3 divided by r minus 2 factorial n plus 2 minus r and this will be written as n plus 1 minus r factorial where we have expanded n plus 2 minus r factorial. Similarly, here we have 1 divided by r minus 1 factorial can be written as r minus 1 r minus 2 factorial. And here we have n plus 1 minus r factorial. Now, on comparing both the sides, you can see that we can cancel out r minus 2 factorial from both the sides and n plus 1 minus r factorial from both the sides and we are left with 3 
divided by n plus 2 minus r is equal to 1 divided by r minus 1. Again, on cross multiplying, we have 3r minus 3 is equal to n plus 2 minus r. That is, this r will be taken to the left hand side and this 3 will be taken to the right hand side and we have 4r is equal to n plus 5. Let this be the first equation. Now again if we have the other two can be compared off. We have c n r minus 1 divided by 3 is equal to c n comma r divided by 5. Cross multiplying we have here 5. This can be written as now n factorial divided by r minus 1 factorial n plus 1 minus r factorial whereas it can be written as 3 n factorial divided by r factorial then n minus r factorial on simplifying We have in the numerator now 5 r minus 1 factorial. Now this can be written as n plus 1 minus r, fact minus r multiplied by n minus r factorial. And here we have 3 divided by r multiplied by r minus 1 factorial n minus r factorial. Let us cancel out. And we are left with 5r is equal to 3n plus 3 minus r that is on cross multiplying. This can be written as that is 3r. 8r is equal to 3n plus 3. Now let this be the second equation. Now from the first equation we had Four r is equal to n plus five. That is, on multiplying both the sides by two, we have eight r is equal to two n plus five. Now, on substituting this value from three into, we have in place of eight r, we can write down two n plus five, and here we can write down three n plus three. Let us take this in this side and this in this side. We have 5 minus 3 is equal to 3n minus 2n which is 2 is equal to. Now here 2 was multiplied on both the sides so this will become 5 not 10 not 5. So 10 minus 3 will give us 7. So the value of n is equal to 7. Now on substituting the value in any of the equations above we have 8r is equal to 2n plus 10. n is 7. We have 
R is equal to 14 plus 10 divided by 8. That is 24 divided by 8. That gives us the value of R as 3. So our final answer is the value of N is equal to 7 and R is equal to 3. So this ends the question that was given to us. Take care.